The night is alive with mystery, and the unknown lurks just beyond the shadows. Hidden in the shadows of the night, a creature stirs, one that has fueled myths and legends for centuries. The Vampire Bat, nature's most fascinating little bloodsucker. We leave Count Dracula and his eccentric hospitality at the castle and head straight into the jungles where these nocturnal nibblers dwell. Vampire bats are found in tropical and subtropical regions ranging from Mexico to Argentina. They thrive in these areas due to the abundant prey available. They roost in dark, secluded places such as caves, hollow trees, and abandoned buildings, often forming colonies that can range from a few individuals to thousands. There are three species of vampire bats, all native to the Americas, the common vampire bat, the hairy-legged vampire bat, and the white-winged vampire bat. Primarily, the common vampire bat feeds on mammals like livestock, while the hairy-legged and white-winged vampire bats prefer birds. These nocturnal creatures have adapted to a hematophagous diet, meaning they feed on blood. Believe it or not, genetic studies suggest vampire bats may have evolved from fruit-eating bats. Over time, their diet shifted to blood, leading to the unique adaptations we see today. But how do they find their prey in the dead of night? And how do they consume blood without causing a peep? Their secret weapon lies right here on their snouts. These bumpy pads are packed with specialized heat receptors that can detect heat emitted by warm-blooded animals. Paired with a highly developed brain area similar to those found in infrared sensing snakes, these receptors allow vampire bats to pinpoint areas where blood vessels run close to the skin. Vampire bats have excellent hearing. They can detect the breathing and movements of potential prey. Additionally, their echolocation skills help them navigate and hunt in the dark. Unlike most bats, vampire bats are comfortable on the ground. They can walk, run, and jump. Their wings and legs are adapted for this, allowing them to approach their prey silently. Now that they've found their target, it's time for dinner. Their sharp incisors and canine teeth, devoid of enamel for extra sharpness, make a clean, shallow incision through the skin quickly and efficiently without causing significant pain to the animal. Their short snouts allow space for these enlarged teeth, perfect for reaching the targeted blood vessel. Now comes the juicy part, the actual blood sucking. Their specially designed tongue has grooves on the underside that expand and contract that helps them lap up blood. But there's one more trick up their sleeve. Their saliva contains anticoagulants, most notably a protein called draculin or desmoteplas, which prevents the blood from clotting. This vampire magic keeps the blood flowing freely while they feast. With a full belly, it's time to disappear back into the night. Vampire bats exhibit an amazing behavior called reciprocal altruism. Bats that have fed will regurgitate blood to nourish others in their colony who haven't been as successful. Vampire bats are considered nuisances due to their blood-feeding habits, which target livestock like cattle and horses. This can cause injury, distress, and economic losses for farmers. They also transmit diseases such as rabies to animals and humans. On the other hand, vampire bats are important to medical science for their saliva's anticoagulants, which have led to the stroke treatment drug Desmoteplase, helping to dissolve blood clots and restore brain blood flow. If you enjoyed this creepy peek into the life of the vampire bats, hit the like button and subscribe for more animal encounters. Want to see another creepy creature? This video is a must watch. Aye aye. The forest's curious tapper and tooth fairy.